This is Duke University. We're looking at a virtual cathedral that I made over the summer of 2007 for the Visual Studies Fellowship. And it's a French Gothic cathedral, probably dated around 1220. Of course, it's imaginary. This assignment was born out of Professor Brasselius's Gothic cathedrals. It's a traditional art history class, but it incorporates a design project. What you're seeing is one part of this kind of project, developed then by Charles in several later courses, with Rachel Brady's wonderful help. Uh, but it all begins with a classroom project. I found that students really began to think about how a building is conceived. That is to say, for example, how do the shafts on these piers connect up to the ribs? And how does each part have to relate to every other part? And they don't think about that unless they have to do it themselves. My involvement with Charles was to educate him on these technical specifications, teach him how he might modify things. Uh, and teach him, of course, how to get the entire model here into the dive, which is a room that you can go into very much like a racquetball court. So it has very rectangular cubic aspect. And the thing that's cool about it is the walls are rear projected with computer graphics. So we can change essentially the wallpaper on the walls in real time, meaning we update the image at 60 to 120 times a second. We can make the image change as a function of where you are in the space so that the perspective is correct no matter where you are and what direction you're looking. And that gives you this sensation of being immersed into whatever the virtual environment is. I think the most rewarding thing with any project that you craft or build is actually seeing its finished product and being able to experience it. So I think this right now is probably one of the most rewarding <laughs> parts of the project. <laughs> Produced by Duke University, online at duke.edu.